How y'all doing? <clears throat> so I'm not, <clears throat> let me profess by this off the bat. I'm not a big Cat Williams fan, marginal talent, you know. To be honest with you, I always thought the Aunt Esther Perm was the funniest thing about that turkey, you know. Because I don't think that people who just sit up on stage and curse a lot and act like they drunk a high are comedy. You know, comedian that I think, oh, yeah, that's what you spend money on? I never got it. Plus, he just said them shots about Michael Jackson, which he recanted. So, you know, and I always looked at him sideways with things he said. But one thing I will say about Cat, <clears throat> he did speak about them Hollywood parties. And in light of what Ari Spears and Taffany, uh, Tiffany Hardish allegedly, and all the stuff that you be hearing. And then you notice when he was hanging out with Suge Knight or whoever he was hanging out with, they always tried to lock him up or shut him up or, or downplay him. It makes you wonder. Now, he wasn't crossover marketed like Kevin Hart, but he Kevin Hart did hood films too. So they put money on who they want. And Cat got kind of white balled out the mix. You kind of see things start to unfold. But he spoke out about the stuff that he saw what was going on out there in old freaky deaky Hollywood. And I just wanted to point out, he was on it. He was on it when it wasn't fashionable to talk about it. It never really is because they really don't want their secrets out. But yet it's an open secret how the business really gets down. And I just thought I'd say, yeah, he was speaking out on some stuff. <clears throat> you know, people put the stuff. That's why Hollywood of all places can't be talking about other people. When they dirt is stacked up to their chin, chin high. Okay, I didn't say knee high, I said chin high. It's up to about right here. <clears throat> How you going to sit there, Aerie Spears, and talk about Bill Cosby or R. Kelly? Same thing with Tiffany Haddish. No good and well that you had to do some stuff on the couch or you had to do something to get a hook up. You ain't that good. You ain't that memorable. You know how the game goes. And um, rest in peace to the great, greatest comedian ever, Richard Pryor. But if Richard Pryor had to go through rituals, what you think third and fourth and fifth tier busters got to do? Okay, let's keep it 100. Let's be straight about it, how Hollywood get down. So I give Cat Williams that dap on that, speaking that truth. Please hit like, subscribe, welcome thoughts and comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another. Believe me, Epstein Island, all them islands, there's a lot more through the turnpike. It's just a matter of if they're going to whack somebody or who's going to get got. But if they want to survive in Ark Hill, they can survive a whole chunk of them if we play in all things considered fair and equal, which they ain't. I'm out.